This is my new Everlast Power Pro 256 TIG welder, and my first project is going to be to build an, uh, an aluminum cart uh, for this welder. Here I'm uh, setting up to cut a hole in this aluminum plate to hold the base of the argon tank. To cut a nice round hole in the plate, I drilled a hole in the center, attached it to my welding table, uh, clamped the torch, uh, plasma torch in place, and then uh, drilled a pilot hole and fired up the torch and then you spin the base. I did have to reposition the aluminum clamp uh, as I was turning it. And this is the hole when I was done. Uh, turned out pretty good. Uh, I cleaned it up with a uh, little drum sander that mounted in my drill. Uh, the only problem was I ended up cutting it a little too big. Being the hole was too big, uh, I came up with the idea to line it with a some old gas line that I had laying around. I just slid it lengthways and fit it over the edge, and it actually worked really well as uh, uh, padding for the tank, and the tank fits in there perfect. This is a view of the back of the cart. Uh, showing where the, the tank is held to the back of the cart. This is the bottom of the cart, uh, showing some, these are leftover wheels that I had from uh, some other projects. They were replaced with heavier duty or bigger wheels, uh, so this worked out perfect. This is the uh, left side of the cart. This is the uh, front of the cart. This is a over center clamp that I uh, was in a box of junk my wife told me to get rid of. Been laying around for 20 years, finally found a use for it. That's uh, pretty priceless. This is the uh, clamp after it's been mounted with the argon tank on there and uh, it worked perfect. You can adjust the uh, adjust the screw for the right tension. This is the right side of the cart after I welded the the holders on. This is a combination welder, so it has three different hoses: the ground clamp uh, plus the electrical cord. Uh, this is the uh, filler rod holders. I wanted a nice place to hold my filler rods, keep them all separated. Uh, these are some tubes. They were some aluminum extension handles for something that were left in my garage when I bought the house. Uh, so I uh, drilled holes in the top and mounted them in at an angle. Uh, this is the air regulator uh, to supply air to the plasma torch. Uh, this unit only has one gas inlet on the back of the unit, so you have to be able to switch between compressed air and argon. So to do that, I, I made a little manifold with a couple of valves here. Uh, where you can shut the argon off and turn the compressed air on and vice versa. This is what the finished uh, filler rod holders look like. Uh, I think they turned out pretty nice. I did a lot of online research. Uh, this uh, weldingtipsandtricks.com was very helpful with a lot of the project. Uh, Jody there uses one of these welders and one of the main reasons I bought it. Uh, the TIG fingers are awesome, and I really like the Tillman gloves, too. Here's the left side of the finished welding cart. You can see I've got the, uh, in the front holders, the TIG torch, and the ground clamp are on there. The back one is the uh, plasma cutter torch, a nice storage area. Uh, here's the right side with the that shows the stick welding electrode and the electrical cord. Um, finished project uh, turned out pretty well.